French Education Ministry recently announced that the authorities will no longer allow Muslim girls in public schools to wear Islamic abaya dresses. The Education Minister Gabriel Attal argued that abayas violate the country's strict secular laws in education. On a television channel, the minister declared that he would give guidelines to the school heads before classes begin nationwide from 4th September. Gabriel said that anyone entering a classroom should not be able to identify the religion of students by looking at them. The government's decision came after months of controversy and debate over the issue. According to reports, abayas are being increasingly worn in French schools creating tensions between the school authorities and parents. In France, female students have already been barred from wearing the Islamic headscarf. In the year 2004, a law banned religious signs in schools including large crosses and Jewish kippahs other than headscarves. Before we look at the country's history of such bans, first let us know what abayas are. Abayas are long black garments that cover everything but the face, hands and feet. Abayas are different from burqas which are also worn by Muslim women. The abaya ban is in line with France's campaign against Islamic clothing. In 2010, France banned the full-face veiling in public provoking outrage among the Muslim population. The lawmakers wanted to prohibit the practice of hiding faces in public places. Moreover, the supporters of the ban also argued that the face covering represented oppression of women. In 2011, the government banned turbans and headscarves in schools. Five years later, the country witnessed the anti burkini decrees that prohibited Muslim women from wearing swimsuits that covered the body completely. In the year 2018, a UN committee said that France's niqab ban violated the human rights of Muslim women. The committee had called on France to review its law banning the garment. The committee was not convinced by the French government's argument that the prohibition of face covering was necessary and important from a security point of view. In the past, Muslim women were seen taking to the streets in protest against laws banning the wearing of niqabs and burqas in public. Several Muslim women in France allege that they are being discriminated against for their distinct religious identity.